uh, hi guys uh, so this is actually a follow-up video um, after the QAnon one um, this one this time around I want to focus on Linwood so Linwood is a really controversial figure over the past uh, few months especially the past uh, two months where he made a lot a lot of outrageous claims um, and and a lot of things did not happen um, according to how he think. Uh, of course, he did already know that Pence is not going to help Trump. I think he got some insider information, which is why he started uh, lashing out against Pence. And um, which then proceeds to, of course, have Pence um, not supporting Donald Trump. I think there is a breakdown somewhere. Um, I don't think it's his fault, Linwood's fault. Um, as far as I can tell, he's more towards like a spectator. Uh, he's not that deep into the action part. But um, a lot of people like Linwood. They believe in him and they follow him and they really trust him. Um, to the detriment to, of the Georgian runoff, um, the Georgia runoff, uh, but of course, um, if if the alleged fraud is true, then there's no way the Republicans is going to win that runoff, the Senate runoff in Georgia. So, um, so Lin would have this to say. Uh, Fourteen hours ago, before he went to sleep, he said. So Lin would say, "Time for rest." I had stayed up, or oh, I should talk the way he talked. Time for rest. I stayed up to watch the conclusion of the greatest attempted theft in history. Now it is a completed crime. Many traders will be arrested, jailed over the next several days. President Donald J. Trump will serve four more years. Oh, this it, he's really dramatic. Uh, this is how I imagine how he how he would say this, but. The key part uh, is so ignoring all the drama. I should have done that. I regretted it already. But um, he highlighted that many traders will be ar well. This is also what he like to do. Many traders will be arrested and jailed over the next several days. But what if no traders or no people is arrested other than Donald Trump and his family and his supporters? Are jailed over the next several days. What happened? Because he's making a claim. He's trying to make you feel uh, act activated and motivated, and you no, know, um, to give you hope that something is gonna, still going to happen. Is not too different from the QAnon movement, uh, which, is, which is why I kind of uh, link them a bit, but I do not want to link them directly because they are still different. Because Lin Linwood is not. Uh, nobody he's somebody uh, he's a major lawyer uh, he he's kind of embroiled in this real world um, so he making these claims and you know, all the all the other claims you know um, over the past one month is significant and he don't seem to back them up with evidence he seems to have evidences but he cannot show them and this sort of things but he made this claim he claimed many traitors will be arrested and jailed over the next several days so and of course he will, he repeats that trump will serve for more years so what i felt is that this guy have already you know exhausted a lot of goodwill um and and for me myself um, I'm not American again. I have to emphasize I'm not American. So um, My I just want to have just want to say my my stake in this in in the white in the politics of America is because uh, I'm from Singapore Singapore is a strong ally to the United States and we depend on the United States for our stability and and for us to as hedge as a balancing power against china so without usa china will 
reign supreme in Southeast Asia and Singapore will find it really hard to navigate in a region where it's pretty corrupted um, so and it's and given the wealth and power of China they can easily bribe a lot of the corrupted corrupted uh, politicians and government officials and in our region so I don't talk about Singapore I think Singapore people are a bit harder to bribe and especially we are a bit expensive because we are one of the most expensive country in the world um, it will create a massive massive challenge for my country which is why I support Trump because since Trump so before Trump came in um, Singapore was under huge massive diplomatic pressure by China because we we are challenging we are the, like we are challenging the South China Sea issues for Philippines because we see that you know if China entrenched itself uh, it's going to be a huge problem for Singapore's freedom and and Philippines was not behaving normally nor is um, and then Vietnam is always seems to be quite alone and then Singapore is trying to like voice it out and then Indonesia at the time in 2016 or, or he they are a bit still reserved at the moment at the, at that moment so since Trump took power um, he pushed back on China and then he and he gave a lot of momentum for Southeast Asia to actually push it back against China and Indonesia also gained more voice and more confidence to deal with China and and it made a huge difference which this is why I supported Trump <clears throat> and I hope that he can win the second four-year term and I believe that is good for the world Trump is not a war warmonger so in that sense he will push back against China but without going to war and that's what I liked uh, assertiveness but no violence uh, because war is really bad um, no matter how you want to look at it uh, so I've digressed um, so coming back to Linwood so I have been following Linwood for over, over the past two months and and I sort of semi trusted him um, but now I think is is you know given what have have been uh, unfolding over the past twenty four hours and forty eight hours I believe that it's time to put his words to test you see he says that you know, many traders will be arrested and jailed so we put his words to it and you no know, it's a man's word so he should cash this check you see if no one get arrested or jailed I believe that it is time to uh not follow him that much I wouldn't say totally dis disregard him but I will say that no take all his words every word that he said with a pinch of salt because because if someone can say things irresponsibly and with no repercussion just like a lot of the people that know why that it's against Trump which is why we supported Trump then he is no different from the Democrats where they, they can just say whatever thing they want so um, so this is just a, a short video that I want to talk about uh, about Linwood and this particular uh, post on parlor because he was bad he was like banned and suspended on Twitter so I, when I came here came over the parlor to check what he said um, then I saw this post so let's see um, if what he said came true then there will be a massive massive political upheaval in the United States but let's see this this is interesting because also that this co uh, this actually gels with what QAnon is saying um, but QAnon have very poor records of um, being right really poor uh, like almost nothing gets get came came through um, Linwood also you know is becoming very QAnon-ish so, so let's see so uh, see you next time and I'm not sure what will be my next video on um, I try to be I try to post more often uh, whenever I can I try to juggle my work and see how it goes okay take care